Hey the friends, I've lost 130 pounds and kept it off for eight years and I've burned a lot of fat doing cardio. I do an hour of cardio six days a week and I wanna show you the best treadmill settings, the exact ones that I use to burn fat. So let's do it, cuties. <laughs> So this is my treadmill. It's a Soul F63, in case you're wondering. And what I actually like to do is I like to split up my cardio. I like to do 30 minutes on the treadmill and then 30 minutes on the recumbent bike. And I'll show you the settings for that after. Okay, so I select the manual setting and then I have to adjust my age. I am 39 and then currently my weight is 147 pounds and then I like to set my time and my time is 30 minutes enter I've got it set for 30 minutes on the manual setting and then I like to build up slowly for the first five minutes to get to the actual like speed and incline that I do so I push the start and then I like to go at 1.5 five speed for the first minute and then what I do is I slowly build up the incline so I'll do one then three then five then seven then nine and after five minutes I go at nine and I do two speed and I do that for the 25 minutes and that allows me to go slow and steady so I like to go a higher incline, but a slower pace. And I really like that because it allows me to maintain this time. And then when I switch to the bike, it allows me to do an hour of cardio and sustain it. So why low intensity steady state cardio? Because it's the best for burning fat. Why? It saves my joints. Two, it allows me to sustain that amount of cardio six days a week. And when I do HIIT training, HIIT training actually burns through carbs. Whereas when you do low intensity steady state, it taps into your fat stores. So again, you burn fat better by doing low intensity. Also with HIIT, I find I get burned out really quickly. It makes me hungry all the time and I'm not fit enough to sustain doing HIIT where I can burn that many calories. So I find low intensity the best way to do that. When I do HIIT, again, I use up all my energy and then it affects my weight training later on and I want to preserve my energy so that I can put it into weight training and build muscle because it helps me fill out my loose skin. Helps you burn fat when you got muscle. This is my recumbent bike. It's a Soul R52. I just got a new one and I like to do programs on this one. So I'm gonna start I'm already entered in as user one. I push enter. And then my favorite program is the fat burn because it starts slow and then it goes higher. It'll start at one resistance, go to seven, and then go to 13 resistance. And so it builds up slow and it allows me to go really slow and steady. So again, I'm burning the most fat. I'm saving my joints and I'm really preserving my energy for muscle building later and I can keep this pace up. What I find is I can, I feel good when I do low intensity steady state too. I feel good all day and I actually get more energy. Whereas with HIIT, I feel really tired all the time and I just can't keep it up. And then there are days where I'll take a break from the cardio equipment and I'll go outside and walk for an hour at a very leisurely pace. I will go like in the forest and stuff. <sighs> Getting out of breath, <laughs> better pause it. I'll go like in the forest and um, down steep hills and up like hills and stuff to challenge myself. But I always go at a leisurely pace. So my heart rate's up, but I can hold a conversation and I can maintain that pace for the entire time and I can do it again six days a week for an hour because it's sustainable. If you wanna know the exact meals and portions I ate to lose 130 pounds and keep it off for eight years,
check out my weight loss guides. Links are down below. Code Nicole to save yourself 10%. I also have Huddled HTLT steps. So GO2 Max allows you to take in more oxygen during cardio so that you can go longer in your cardio. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10% off. These are just my pieces of cardio equipment. If you don't have these exact ones, that's why I'm showing you all of the settings and the options for the treadmill, for the bike, and also the option to go outside. Basically, the message is slow and steady, low intensity. Whatever you're doing, you should be able to sustain it for a long period of time or for your entire time that you're doing cardio. Because slow walking or low intensity steady state cardio is the best cardio for fat burning. And my biggest tip is pace yourself. After all of the fat burning and weight loss that I've done and all the cardio, I learned when I do too much, all it does is I burn out and I fail and I don't wanna do it again. So pacing myself allows me to really enjoy what I'm doing and that's why I break it up with the treadmill and the bike and the walking outside and it really allows me to enjoy what I'm doing and that's why I've been able to do it for so long and I started with 15 minutes and I built my way up to an hour. Love you, thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch this vid and this vid for sustainable weight loss tips that is fun and helps you enjoy the journey. I love you, thanks so much for your support and for watching. Catch you in the next vid, cute Rooney. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale, it's also about here and here, heart and mindset. Bite through it, you can do it, don't give up.